Hello there my fellow guardians, how's it going? This is Mario here, bringing you guys another Destiny video. Today I'll be showing you guys how to unlock Invective and Exotic Shotgun. I'll be taking you through all of the steps you'll need to complete, as well as some tips along the way. So let's get right into things. How exactly do you begin the process to unlocking Invective? Well, it's pretty random, but the only way to get Invective is to receive a Vanguard Mentor Missive. But how do you get a Vanguard Mentor Missive? The only current way known to get one is to turn in your Vanguard Bounties every single day. You may only need to complete 3 to get one, or you may need to complete 30 to get one. It's completely random and there's no confirmed way to get one 100% of the time. Once you have your Vanguard Mentor Missive, you'll need to speak to the Bounty Robot in the tower and take a look at your three available exotic bounties. To get Invective, you'll need to choose the bounty called a Dubious Task. If you do not have a Dubious Task as an option, you'll need to pick another exotic bounty and wait until next time to get Invective. If you do have that option, however, you'll want to pick up a Dubious Task. The first step in the bounty is to talk to Ikora Ray, the Warlock Vanguard. Simply approach her and you'll be able to pick up a request from Ikora Part 1. To complete this part of her request, you'll need to complete a total of 5 strikes without dying. This means going into 5 separate strikes without dying. As soon as you die, even if you haven't entered the darkness zones yet, you won't get a point towards the bounty. There are 2 strikes that I would recommend doing, either the Devil's Lair or the Nexus. Once you get the hang of both of these, they can be run through in about 10 or 15 minutes. Once you finish all 5 strikes, you'll receive a Korra Ray completed. Take the completed bounty back to Akora in the tower and she'll be waiting for you with the next part of the bounty. When you approach her, you'll be able to accept a request from Akora Part 2. To complete the second part of Akora's request, you'll need to get a 25 kill death spread in the Crucible. This does sound very confusing and it also sounds very hard, so I'll try to explain this a little better. To retrieve this bounty, you'll need to get kills in the Crucible. For every kill, you'll receive 1 point. However, for every death, you'll lose 1 point, meaning that you'll need positive kill-death ratios throughout this part of the bounty. Once you've gained 25 points, you'll receive a Korra Ray 2 completed, and you can now move on to the next step. Once again, you'll need to head back to the tower and approach Ikora Ray. When you walk over to her, she'll be waiting with a request from Ikora Part 3. This is the final part of the bounty, but it is definitely not the easiest. To do this final part of the bounty, you'll need to complete a weekly challenge mission. This means you'll need to complete either the weekly heroic strike or the weekly nightfall strike. If you've already run through the weeklies and gained all of the rewards, I'd recommend just doing the weekly heroic on level 22 just because it's very quick. However, if you haven't run the strikes for that week, you might as well just get a team together and then run it through to get all of the rewards. Once you've finished the mission, you'll receive a Clot of Darkness. Once you have this Clot of Darkness, you'll be returning to the tower once again. Head over to Ikora Ray and she will once again be waiting on your arrival. Approach her and she will give you an uncharged invective. To charge the weapon and finally receive it, you'll need to obtain an invective component. But how do you get one of these? To obtain an invective component, head over to the gunsmith and you'll notice that there's a new item available for purchase. This is the component and it costs 50 special ammo synthesis to buy. This means that you'll have to buy 50 special ammo synthesis and then use all of them to get the component. If you buy them all with glimmer, this will cost you about 12,500 glimmer, which is half of your maximum capacity. Once you buy the component, you'll receive the charged version of invective. Finally, you'll need to return to Akora Ray once more, and she'll be waiting with your shiny new Invective shotgun. And then that's it, you have Invective and you can begin ranking it up alongside all of your other legendaries and exotics. So, have you got Invective? What do you think of it? Let me know in the comments section below. So, thank you guys for watching this video, if you've enjoyed it remember to smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe for daily Destiny content. Remember to follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Twitch, links in the description below, and I'll see you guys in another video, so until then. Ciao.